It's Breakatron and we're back and today we're doing a compression test on a push-pull tube made out of 5 8 inch diameter by 0, uh, 3 5 inch wall aluminum. The push-pull tube is 14.6 inches from eye to eye. Stan Hall's charts predict that the breaking strength, the compression strength, will be around 800 pounds. Let's see what this one goes to. I'm going to start pumping it up. You can see the numbers on my on my uh, tension cell here. Notice that I'm using a walking beam system to turn compre compression into tension, or rather to turn tension into compression. We're up around 200 pounds, up through 250. Well, right there, there's 250. And there's 260, 270, 280. And there's 300 pounds of compression. And also note that the compression, because of our walking beam arrangement, the compression of the push pull tube is twice what you see listed on the uh, digital readout. So right now we're at uh, 620 pounds. Headed uphill, I hear some crimpling sounds. There's 330, which is 660. There's 680. There's uh, 700 and some odd. We're showing almost 400, which is 800 pounds compression in the tube. This is right around where we expect it to start buckling. And we're still going up. 425, that'd be 850. And there's right around 450, which is 900 pounds. This is about what we expect this thing to max out at. And right now we're at 500 pounds, which is 1,000 pounds of compression. And we're headed uphill from there. This thing's really holding pretty good. There's 550, which is actually 1,100 pounds of compression. 576, 580, 590. There's 600 pounds, which is 1,200 pounds in compression. Well, I hear some noises. Sounds like we're getting ready to fail this thing. We're showing. Oh, about 650, which is 1,300 pounds of compression. We better hurry up and break this thing before I run out of tape. And there's 700, which is 1,400 pounds of compression. Coming up on 750, that'd make it 1,500 pounds. There's 1,500 pounds in compression. Now, I think this tube is going to do what we need it to do at this kind of force rate. Let's see if we can get to 800. There's 800. 1,600 pounds of compression in our push-pull tube. There, there we go. I don't, didn't see the number, but I know it was uphill of 1,600 pounds. I'm just going to go ahead and fail it so we can get a good look at the failure. And that's all. Stop tape, please.